Samples A, B, and C appear to be identical. Each sample is found to melt sharply at 122 degrees Celsius. However, a mixture of sample A and B is found to melt from 115 to 120 degrees Celsius, while a mixture of sample A and C is found to melt sharply at 122 degrees Celsius. Which of the following is true? A. Samples A and B are composed of the same substance. B. Samples A and C are composed of different substances. C. A mixture of B and C will have a sharp melting point. Or D. None of the above. A sharp melting point and a sharp boiling point is characteristic of pure substances, one element or one compound. When we say that a substance has a sharp melting point, we mean that the sample's temperature remains constant while it's melting. In practice, a constant temperature means within about one degree. Let's examine choice A. If samples A and B were composed of the same substance, then a mixture of the two would not really be a mixture. It would still be a pure substance which would melt sharply at exactly the same temperature as A and B. That's not the case here. Mixing samples A and B gives us something with a wide melting temperature range, 115 to 120 degrees. Therefore, samples A and B are definitely not the same substance. Therefore, choice A is false. How about choice B? Mixing samples A and C gives us a sample that still melts sharply at the same temperature as both samples A and C. Therefore, samples A and C must be identical substances. Choice B is also false. Let's look at choice C. Since we have established that A and B are not identical, but A and C are identical, we can conclude that B and C are different. We therefore expect a mixture of B and C to have a wide melting point range. Choice C is also false. The correct answer is D. None of the statements given in choices A, B, and C are true.